We have an 11 gram sample of calcium chloride dissolving in 125 grams of water. So our total mass is going to be 136. You have to add both of them, conservation of matter. Calculate the final temperature of the solution if they start at 25 Celsius and you assume no heat loss. We have the specific heat capacity here. And then we have the enthalpy change for dissolving this calcium chloride. So that is the enthalpy change of the system. This is the system, okay? And you give the hint here, what is the enthalpy change in the surroundings? So the first thing we do is the enthalpy change of the surroundings, let's write that as a given, surroundings, is going to be the negative of that negative 8078, so that will be a positive 8078 joules. Now let's go to our equation that is mc delta t. We're interested in finding delta t. So delta t will be delta h of the surroundings, just do a little algebra here, divided by mc. So now we plug our numbers in. We have positive 8078, I kind of missed the 8 there, there we go divided by the mass. Use the total mass, 11 plus 125, that's 136. I'm sorry I'm leaving the units out here, kind of running out of room, but if you use the proper units and numbers here, it'll all work out quite nicely. We put in C, 4.184, and we find that delta T is a positive 14.2, so that's the answer. No, it's not. That's delta T. What did we start at? We started at 25. So to find our final temperature, we have to take the initial, which is 25, plus the change, 14.2, and what do we get? To significant figures, we get 39 Celsius. The answer is C. And there it is.